so all these compressors in this LG multi V unit all these compressors is the inverter compressor that's the uh, standard compressor um, that failed the MIG test we had proven bad we got an arrow 26 stating that the compressor failed to start and then when we when we when we did the MIG test it had all of them had failed not passed failed so after leaving the crankcase heated part eaker is part of for 24 hours or 12 hours rather 12 hours past its flying color this one compressor the 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 uh crankcase heater is no good that one still failed hence the reason why i have my heat gun here and um initially when it was ambient temperature which is you can see it's nice nice rather it's about uh, it's a little bit cooler than that it's about 45 air temperature um it failed this day once i use my heat gun and warm it up you see where it's at right now 62 degrees that liquid liquid refrigerant inside the crankcase had boiled off uh, some of it actually not all of it some of it you can see what i'm going to get right now let me get some light in there So the, uh, the meg reading is coming up. So initially, that was reading two megs. Uh, it was a dead shot. Okay, or uh, failed megs. Now you can see what's going on here. Just by putting some heat on the, on, the, on the crown case, I boiled off the liquid refrigerant. And you know, liquid refrigerant, or liquid is always more conductive than, uh, than vapor. So because liquid is more conductive than vapor, if the, if the compressor is filled with uh, liquid in the crankcase and liquid is surrounding the windings it's going to give you a lower mid reading even though the compressor is fine so you might want to make sure that the crankcase heater is working your compressor compressor crankcase is warm if it's uh, during the winter that you're charging it up if you have one of these systems and um, it's giving you a compressor fail to start error which is 26 just a quick little tip um, error 26 before you uh, condemn the compressor make sure the compressor crankcase is warm so that you have no liquid refrigerant in the crankcase because that could give you a false positive uh, for you know for a bad compressor or when it comes to being electrically sound if you're testing with your meg meter so i'm going to warm this up some more get it like 70 degrees and we're going to check again right stay tuned okay so now we had warmed up some more Let's see what we got right here. I think we're at 70 degrees plus. Yeah, 76 degrees on the head right there. So let's see the difference with our meg readings. Now, I wish I had done a uh, video initially with my initial readings, you know, but uh, I thought of this after the fact. It was an afterthought. Um, but you can see that, yeah, obviously it confirms my problem because you can see all these compressors right here. This one is green right now. It's like it's golden. It's perfect. That's well over infinity. And you can see the same problem over there. So you see, I'm, I have all the wires disconnected, so that confirms what I'm saying. So I wish I had started this test when I ground zero, where I was showing two megs on this compressor, only two megs. And after warming it up, two megs at 45 degrees. And after warming it up, you can see right here now. So yeah, definitely. So you see, from the previous reading, you see how fast it's climbing. It's climbing real fast. So this reading right here is more than satisfactory all right we're good that's good enough right there i could i could i'm i'm okay with this reading right here okay that's i'm okay with that so yeah um i don't know i so no this 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 uh also confirms that uh liquid refrigerant is 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 conductive way more conductive than uh refrigerant oil and of course vapor vapor refrigerant um, I don't know if how, how much conductive it is uh, versus water. If anybody knows, they, you can comment in the comment section. But definitely, liquid refrigerant in your in a compressor crankcase, that's bad because now you are conducting electricity from the windings to the crankcase. And obviously, that's going to be bad for your compressor windings. So, yeah, that's the video, guys.